Hi everyone, it's Eugene Michaud, and today I'd like to show you about Cloud Compare, some of the new features that have come through, and one in particular which is three-point picking, which I think is a fantastic tool, especially when you have two objects which are extremely irregular, but you have some reference points where you can match them up to. So, uh, we'll probably show you a few other things as well, but let's get started here. I'm going to go, and I'm going to load up a couple of scans. Um, these were scans that I had done in a previous tutorial. Um, and I'll show you something here. Um, just when you're doing the importing, it's just file open. You'll see that I've opened a PTS file XYZ. I have a scalar, which is the intensity. If I click on here, you'll see that I can actually choose to ignore this field if I want to. Um, but I'm just going to call it scalar and then RGB. But if you didn't need this, uh, I could ignore it. I actually don't need it. Maybe on this one, I'll ignore it. And you'll see that when it comes in, it's going to look different here. Okay, so if I shut the one that I just imported and go back to the first one, you'll see here that um, I have the intensity colors on. And if I want to shut those off, I'm just going to click on the Cloud Compare, go down here, and where it says Scalar Field, I'm just going to say None. Don't display, don't display any. So I just got the uh, Point Cloud itself. So I'm going to bring both of them back on. And before I go in and show you the three-point picking, I'm going to do something else, which is show you a little bit about the segmentation tools. So I'm shutting off one cloud, and what I want to do here is I'm going to cut off part of the fence here and just keep the bottom part of this. is just a small garden, and we'll do that first. So uh, what I will do is I'll go up here, and it says segment. I'm going to use the polygon tool, and I'm just going to click around the bottom base here, like so. And I'm going to click. And when I'm finishing, I'm going to right click and I can choose here segment in or segment out. So I'm going to choose segment out. It pulls it out and I'm just going to say, yeah, that's fine. That's what I want. And what it's done here on the left in the uh, little uh, tree is that it's broken them up into two. So if I click on one, click on the other, I can eliminate one. So this is what I wanted here. So I've got it. I'm going to do this to the other one as well. I'm going to shut off the first one. Uh, I'll go to the second uh, point cloud that I have here and I'm going to segment this one as well click on the segment tool, I'm going to use the polygon select, click around the base of this garden like so and I'm just going to choose the segment out again it cuts it out and I'm going to accept that alright so now I've got one, I'll show this one, I've got two so this is a this is an interesting case here because uh, when you have two point clouds that are similar they're actually not that difficult to automatically register together so you know it has a lot of points a lot of things that it can do but if they're very very different then it becomes a problem and um, you know that's where three-point picking will help now these two that I have here are somewhat different if you go to the uh, front view here you'll see that one has a hole dug out of the garden and the other one doesn't so that's the difference between the two However, they are more or less similar. So this may not be the, the right application, but for a demonstration of um, showing you basically how this would work, I think that it'll be okay. So uh, I have both clouds on right now. Um, I'm going to select the two clouds by control clicking, um, and then I can choose the uh, option here, align two clouds by picking. So I'm going to do that, and one will be the reference, one will be the, the um, the model let's say or what will be aligned I'm just gonna it doesn't matter at, at this point I'm just gonna hit OK alright and I've got this little menu that comes up now so uh, I'm gonna see if I can shrink this and move this over I'm gonna shut off the aligned and I'm gonna go just to the reference and from here I can start picking points so I'm gonna increase this, the point size and let's say I pick a point oh I don't know let me I have to pick something decent here that I can see so I will pick a point, maybe uh, right at the front here. So right where these two beams come into intersection here. So I'm going to click right there. Uh, in the point right there. Uh, okay, there we go. So I've got a point here, R0. That's my reference. And what I'll do is uh, I'll go back, switch to the other one, and I will pick the same point. And she's just going to look at you. It's right there. So I'm going to go here and pick the same location. And that was right here. So now I have A0. Next point I'll pick will be, oh, I don't know. There's a little piece of wood here. So I think I'll pick the corner of this thing right here. A1. I'll do the same in the other. 
was right about here. Okay, and I need one more point. Actually, I could pick more points if I wanted to, um, but I'll stick with three just to show uh, how this works. So I've got another piece of wood here. So I've got this corner. I'm going to pick the base right here, and I'm going to do that same piece right over here. Right over there. Okay, so I've got three. I'm going to show both. And then I'm just going to hit a line. And bang. Based on those three points, I have an alignment. So if I'm happy with that, I'm just going to hit the accept, the check mark here. And there you go. I've got the two point clouds aligned. And if I had picked more points, uh, that could potentially give me a better result. Uh, but in this case, you can see that's not too bad. So if I wanted to do the analysis now, the deviation analysis, that is also possible. I can click on the two point clouds and I can do a cloud to cloud distance. Um, you can choose which one is your reference, which one is your compared. I'll leave it with the default. And with this, I'm going to choose Octree level 8 and hit compute. And hit OK. I'm going to accept that. OK. And I'm going to shut off and the point, one of the point clouds and just keep the one that was compared and you'll see that I already have uh, some of the colors up here and I, if I go over here and I can choose the height ramp and make some adjustments I will actually also want to, to display the range, the color range and I'm also going to adjust this till we get a little bit of red in the bottom there right there so there you have it a uh, very quick tutorial uh, showing you how to use three-point picking and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.